Hello everybody, my name is Martin and you're watching Affinity for Commander. Today I'm going to be doing my top 5 predictions for Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, a D&D set that is coming to Magic later this year. But before we begin, I'd like to thank each of these amazing patrons listed on screen now, without whom we wouldn't be able to make videos such as this, so thank you. Also, if you buy your MTG products from any of these websites listed here, then be sure to use our affiliate links. It won't cost you any extra, and it really helps out the channel. Also, if you use Flipside Gaming, then use the promo code AFFINITY at the checkouts for 10% off orders over $10. So, I made a prediction list for Adventures in the Forgotten Realm as soon as I heard that it was coming to magic. And then Wizards ruined my list by spoiling a load of cards. So thank you, wizards. But it's not the end of the world, so without further ado, let's go on to my first prediction. I am going to say that the Companions of the Hall will feature heavily in this set. For those of you that don't know, the Companions of the Hall are the main characters in the D&D novel series. They include Dristo Erden, a drow ranger who can already be seen on official Adventures of the Forgotten Realm artwork. Gwenhai Far, I really hope I'm saying this right, his Astral Panther companion, Wolfgar, a big smashy barbarian, Brunor Battlehammer, a dwarven king, Katy Bree, a human archer, and Regis, a halfling with the taste for finer things in life. Now four of the six characters I've just mentioned have already been confirmed to be in the Dark Alliance video game, which is due out later this week. With this game coming out so close to the release of this set, it would make sense for Wizards to tie them together to promote the release of both products. And let's be real, if you're looking for influential characters to have as legends in your set, there are none so influential as these. Coming in as my second prediction, I am going to be guessing the factions that will appear in this set. I think that the Order of the Gauntlet, a group of paladins and holy warriors whose entire purpose is to combat evil, will appear as the White Faction for this magic set. The Harpers, a group of spies and information gatherers, will cover the blue aspect. The Zentarum, a group of mercenaries and assassins, will cover black. The Lord's Alliance, a group of rulers from around Faerun, will be red. And the Emerald Enclave will be, well, green clues in the name really. In addition to these we may also see the Cult of the Dragon and the Red Wizards of Thay, though I think these will be more minor plot points. We might have reference to them here and there, maybe a card or two, but I don't think they'll be as prominent as the other five factions. Coming in at prediction number three, this is a bit of a controversial one. I am predicting that we will not see Strahd von Zonovich in this set. Now Strahd is the vampiric lord of Barovia and a fan favourite among all D&D players. However, Barovia is not part of the Forgotten Realms, it is a domain of dread in Shadowfell. Due to this fact, I don't think we'll be seeing Strahd in this set, there's enough characters and villains for them to use without dipping into different regions. Now hey, I am happy to be wrong on this one, my Edgar Markov deck would love Strahd to join him. However, I'm going to stick to my gut feeling and say that he will not be appearing as a card in this set. Prediction number 4, the return of the party mechanic. Now when party first debuted in Zendikar Rising, I straight away thought of Dungeons and Dragons. Clerics, rogues, warriors, wizards, this sounds like the making of a perfect party composition. So if it's ever going to make a return, now is the obvious time. And with D&D having so many multiclassing characters, the conditions of this ability would be easier to fulfil than ever before. Now Zendikar Rising rotates out in September, leaving only a few months for it and Adventures in the Forgotten Realm to be in standard together. However, I think this is long enough for Wizards to justify bringing back the ability to give some much needed love to the party mechanic. And finally, we come to my fifth prediction. I'm going to say it here on camera, I think we are going to see more Tiamat. Now, Tiamat being in this set was actually one of my original predictions which I made before Wizards spoiled the card. So once again, thank you Wizards for ruining my video. 
However, the Tiamat card we've seen is a little bit... How shall I put this? Bad? Sure, tutoring for dragons is cool, but for that mana cost and that colour identity, I would expect more. Just take a look at the Ur Dragon or Scion of the Ur Dragon, both of which are five colour dragons with much more powerful abilities. Now, we know the names of the four commander decks for this set, one of which is called Draconic Rage. It would make so much sense for them to put another iteration of Tiamat as the face commander for this deck and make her abilities much stronger in terms of commander play. And as a slight bonus prediction, I'm going to be guessing the theme and commander of the Dungeons of Death deck. Now this screams out to me Halaster Blackcloak, the mad mage who made a dungeon below the Yawning Portal pub. Or, if you're not British, Tavern. Just think about it. Let's say a Grixis deck filled around traps and sneaky abilities that only activate when certain conditions are met. I would love to play this deck. And with that we have my top 5, well, 6 I guess, predictions for Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. If you enjoyed this video be sure to leave it a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when we release more like it. Also, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with my predictions? Do you disagree? Is there anything that I've missed that's really obvious? And if you want to have an input into how we run the channel, then be sure to check out our Patreon page, where we have rewards for as little as a dollar a month. That's all for now though, I'll see you next time.